My children's teeth are crooked, this question asks. What should I do? Okay, so if your children's teeth are crooked, they may have other issues. And um, normally, we like to see gaps between teeth for kids because huh. the adult the teeth... The baby teeth? Yes. Gaps? Yes, because the adult teeth are twice as big. Ah. So if there's no gaps between the baby teeth, it looks fantastic when they're young, but then they're more prone to... The jaw them. is still growing though, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. But if you're lucky, it's going to grow enough for, for the adult teeth, but most of the time, if there's not enough space, chances are your child will need braces. Um, and uh, the good thing about early treatment with braces is that we can actually create that space. Um, Using for the other teeth to be able to come in yes. more naturally. And uh, so instead of waiting until your child is 13 and then they're more mature, the bone is harder, we can actually treat them as early as 8 years old to mold the bone, not the teeth, we mold the bone to create enough space and then when the adult teeth come out, there's enough space. So we may avoid some of the surgery that a lot of people have to go through to remove teeth? We can teeth. avoid surgery to, to remove perfectly healthy adult teeth because when we re remove teeth for braces, what we're doing is we're shrinking the, the, uh, the face and we don't get that nice, nice broad smile. We get that narrow smile. And because we have that narrow smile, our sinuses don't have enough room to get oxygen in. Wow, it's so, all it's all so connected, isn't it? We're we're getting into a, a different field here, which is beyond the scope of, of today's interview. However, it's very important, and and we will talk about that eventually. Yes. Um, but uh, now we're we're simply talking about prevention, and um, it can actually save you a lot of money in a sense that if we can intercept that problem, your child may not even need braces because we fix the problem early. And there's another area where the teeth are not biting properly and it affects the diet and um, and because now the the bone is mature when when the teeth are misaligned for so long it's harder to fix and then sometimes we're not talking about just surgery of removing teeth but we're talking about surgery breaking the bone to Ooh. bring the jaw out Ooh. or cutting the the bone to bring the lower jaw back in and there's risk so a little involved. prevention up front goes a long way for this exactly and because the bone is still mature we can mold it but once you you pass 17 the bone is is mature it's hard you cannot move the bone so for braces as early as eight years old if it's, it's possible a, if it's yes. needed it's it's uh, possible and if uh, braces is um, if the child is not cooperative, we have removable appliances. They can help do that and yes. remove things. Yes, so something you just put in the mouth and then we remove it and every week we just, there's a little screw, we crank it up and it, it just opens up a quarter of a millimeter. You put it back in, there's, it exerts a little bit of pressure now. Mm -hmm. And eventually the bone slowly molds. And because the child is so young and, and the bone is so soft, it's pain free the child doesn't feel anything. Very nice. Yes.